I wanted to hear that with conviction. I want to hear it. Because I don't know if he is. Casemiro. Bro, I ain't got no chance from you. World either. class. What, have, you, have you got a world class midfielder in your team? Huh? Have you got a world class midfielder in your team? Yeah. Who? What an Odegaard. Martin Odegaard is world class. <laughs> yeah, creating chances. <laughs> I've heard it all, man. I've, I've heard, heard it all. Oh, look who we have here. My like this, the Babs. You got the most positive arse off out here. Well, there's a good reason. On top of the league. Listen, bloody, has the season finished? Has anyone, can anyone confirm the season finished? <laughs> season's not over. Have you got a trophy there or something? Season's Have you got over. any trophies in the last five years? Listen, don't worry, man. You guys protect this FA Cup, man. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it's behind you now. Just yeah, it's, chill it's, out, it's man. More the than season's you, just started. Relax. You know what I mean? There's no gold trophy like last time that you keep talking about. Manchester United will finish above Arsenal this season. Three, two, one. You see the hesitation? That's hesitation. They're not sure. Listen, I'm sure. Worry, Strongly disagree with Chest. Listen, what, what what can you say that you can tell me that? You tell me that. What, Arsenal finish above yeah, United? Yeah. You've got the best strike in the world. Got the best defence in the world. Got the best midfielder in the world. Is but that, dude, is that you're your doing your talking for me. Is that your argument? You answer your own question. No, but I'm, that's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing. You're got hearing the best that? Your... In the world. Let me know what you think. I think it's more you guys. You are trash. Your manager, <laughs> you your awful. manager. This is what I mean. So it's your manager's Arsenal, finished. Where's your manager's finished? Your, Where's you your being finished? trash gives me confidence. You let me know where your manager's finished. You give me the statistics where your manager's finished. Right now he's top of the eighth, league. Eighth, eighth, sixth. You're eighth, telling me. Fifth. Listen, all I'm saying to you is, yeah, the manager's here now. We've got a coach now, a proper, I proper coach. Yeah. That you've seen him in Europe. You've watched him in Europe. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've watched Arteta in Europe. You've seen him in Europe. You've seen what he's done. You've seen the, the, the squads that he's managed. We know where we're going now. We've got a finally we've got a manager now. We believe in Arteta. What's he done at your football club that you can believe that he's going to finish above, above United? What Arteta has done is yeah. stabilise the club and we should be your blueprint. Stabilise the What club. we're doing now is what you want to do. <laughs> After project, spending 400 project million, you're you stabilising the Spending money club. and directions. After spending 400 your million, your Harry argument Maguire. is that you're stabilising the football club. As long as your captain's Harry Maguire. Captain ain't there anymore. Is he not? <laughs> he's not there is anymore. He not? He's dropped. Well, like a we've got Varane and we've got Lissandro Martinez. Is it? Was he centre back? And you got you got a centre back that you loaned out for two years, and, and all of a sudden he's the best centre back in the world. Might be. He's better than <laughs> he yours. Be. <laughs> he's better than yours. I think your centre back started. Well, after three bench. games, you can say your centre back's better than mine. Yeah. What are you talking you about? No Champions defense. League Varane. Any defender is better than Champions League, League Varane. And we've got Champions Lissandra League Varane. Martinez. It's a Europa League Varane now, isn't it? Well, listen, it's a process, isn't it? Like <laughs> you, you not say. And you like might you turn them into conference League Varane this season. What did you say for three years? It's a I'm process, telling you, right? trust a hospital's process because you need the same. The question was who's finishing above who? And I think you agree because you put agree, I put strongly disagree. There's no I confidence agree that there, my United are finishing in. above Arsenal. And how's that? I think we've got the manager. I think we've got the players now. I think we've got the belief now. Listen, you know that more than me, where it's the start of the season and it can end well. Yes mm -hmm. or no? So at the end of the day, we're going to go to this process. We're going to believe in the manager. And step by step, nothing happens overnight. The season's not started, the season's not finished yet. And I firmly believe with the cohesion we've got and the manager, you can't tell me that Arteta is better manager than Ten Hag. I can. can you say that? Yes, I can. Because I've watched Arteta manage and you've not watched any games of Ten Hag. Listen, I've watched, it doesn't mean that I've watched, so you say so that I've how can you judge Ten Hag and not Arteta? I've, I've you've watched, watched more games of Arteta I've than I've watched Ten Hag. Arteta and he's rubbish. I see. Yeah, is and he? he's underperformed at Arsenal. Oh, eighth, eighth and six. So how can you tell me he's going to outperform Ten Hag? He's won a trophy. So what makes you think Arsenal are going to finish above United? Apart from the fact that we have a better attack, better defence, better midfield. Oh my God, but you actually like Liverpool <laughs> Better manager. Have you, have, you, have you just literally written a script to Liverpool? Best defence. Well, it's not really hard to best, be better than my United. Best midfield. Best I think attack. Brighton have got a better defence. Where's your motto? Midfield and attack. Where's, your motto? Where's the Arsenal motto? Don't copy Liverpool's motto about best defence and all that. Where's your motto of Arsenal? How do you firmly believe you're do you going to finish United? Do you think you got a better defence than Arsenal? I think we got a better defence than Arsenal. And how come we conceded more goals than us last season? Again, last season is Ragnick. Why don't you just judge it on this? What about this season, season so far? How many this goals season we've got this Sandro season? Martinez. Yeah, how many goals did he concede? We've got left back. We've got. How uh, many clean chances Martinez have? What, Zero. So far. The so season not started. The season's not finished yet, is it? Money where your mouth is. Mm -hmm. Where do you think United's finishing? Top off? Fourth. <gasps> Fourth. Yeah. That's realistic, that's and realistic. I know that's what the first season of Ten Hag. That's what we aimed for. I know there's teams that are in a more bigger progression. For me, fourth. I know where I'm finishing fourth. I don't say second, you. Don't say second. Oh, hey, you've asked me, have you? Go on then. Where are you finishing this season? Third. Third. Yeah. <laughs> you, you literally just 
Oh my god. Bro, I've got confidence here. You're going in the middle. Yeah, so you say you go from like eighth. That, like that. So the process is to finish eighth, eighth, sixth, and then third. After spending 450 million. Preference. Yeah. And you keep saying six. And you finish with both Tottenham again. For the first time in how many years? I don't know. I don't count. Wow, because you don't count because that's how bad you've been. I count my trophies. Do you count your trophies? One, one, one trophy. So you're lapping up again, one trophy again. 14 FA Cups to be exact. 13 league titles. Oh dear. Man for man, Arsenal's team is better than Manchester United's. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> Please, man. Please. Please, don't even. Oh my God, man. I think you should move here as Please, well. If you have any man. common sense. Please. But I'm not surprised, United fan. Go on, Please. give me your delusion then. Please, man. Let me hear the waffle this so what, time. What, you're going to say Ramsdale's kicking? Are you going to say Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Are you going to say Ramsdale's kicking, therefore means he's better than David De Gea? Is that what you're going to do? I mean, I'd say De Gea's a good goalkeeper. Then I watch the game against Brentford and he Oh, so even... one game again. What is this with Arsenal? One, one game. game here and one there. Game. Three games, Arsenal lost this and that. What? Ramsdale's been relegated twice in his career. He does one kick, he does camera saves after camera saves, and all of a sudden you think he's the best keeper in the world? We're talking about a guy who's in his peak powers, oh, David but... Ayer, <laughs> and he's um, Spain's fourth peak choice powers. goalkeeper. He's just come from the championship. Spain's fourth, no, I'm talking about De Gea. De Gea, okay. Spain's fourth choice goalkeeper. Fourth well, it just shows you the talent. Let me say that one more time. Fourth and where's choice? Ramsdale in, in, in behind the Brighton's goalkeeper? Is, is Ramsdale behind Brentford's goalkeeper? Is you Ramsdale think he's better than Ramsdale? Born? Then my is friend Ramsdale needs to England's walk out of there right now. Is Ramsdale England born? No. So yet. there you go. So why are you talking about Ramsdale? So again, England's then? number two or Spain's number four? Mm. Listen, I, I don't care. If they're not number one, we don't care. Again, don't. we don't need to champion. But then who's better? Who's better on facts then? Is it not? De Gea is still better. Ramsdale is more likely to get in Spain's squad if you're Spanish than De Gea. Oh my God. Based on what? Because he can kick the ball. Oh, man. Footballers kick God, the ball, you know? Man. They kick Are the you ball. not hearing this, man? Because he can kick the ball, therefore he can go into the Spain squad. You name me your team, man. You, you give me the, your analysis. I think you'd be lucky to get two players in the Arsenal team. Two if players. I'm being wow. pitiful, you know? And that's why I think we'll strongly finish above you. So you've got the best striker in the world as well. But I'm not front. saying the best in the world, but you're not the best in the world. I We're think not, Brighton's I, got a better striker than you. I be man for have. man. Most of our team is better than your team. We've got centre backs that are better. My than United fans have the midfield, teams, right? The midfield and it's as well. Names of a profile. It's big names, big names. You're going to add Casemiro in there as well. I don't know. I'm not sure. We so see you don't want to add him. I think you could get in the team. Maybe he's one of your players. You think you could what? Yeah, I think he's one of your players. <laughs> I wanted to hear that with conviction. I want to hear it. Because I don't know if Casemiro. he is. Casemiro, bro, I ain't getting no chance from you. World either. class. Well, have, you, have you got a world class midfielder in your team? Huh? Have you got a world class midfielder in your team? Yeah. Who? Not to know about it. Martin Odegaard is world class. Yeah, creating chances. I've heard it all, man. I've heard it all. The guy that scored about five goals last season. Yeah, creating chances. How many, how, many, how, many, how many chances did you create last season? I think the second best in the league. Wow, man. And is you're that, calling world class based on that. What does that mean if he's not? No, man for man, Babs, listen, you're a good guy. I know, <laughs> and I'm a clever guy as well. And yeah, I'm you know, you, listen, I know you're clever. You've man. served your you, waffle you're, you're in different ways. On Twitter, you're clever. This, this is in a dessert place. I don't need no waffle right now. It's not Twitter, you know. You're just giving me little opinions. Give me facts. And there's no, we can't do no Speak comms. To me in facts. Two minute comms. We can't do no two minute comms. Facts. We want to see it based on the whole. Who's, who's got the better striker? Jesus. I give you Jesus. I give you Jesus. But in reality, if who's, you had, who's got if, a better if, right if winger? You look at, if you had Ronaldo in your who's team, would you, would who's you put got a better right winger? Sorry. Who's got a better right winger? I think Jadon Sancho. I think Sancho's clear. Then why Saka. come? How come Sancho can't make the England squad? Saka's stuck. Yeah, because that guy's Southgate's manager. Is it? You, you, you can't you can't provide the basis on that when Southgate's the manager. You know it already. Southgate should be picking better players, so we can't we can't disclose. How many goals did Sancho score last season? Listen, same amount as Gabriel. It's, it's a bit of a man. Same amount as Gabriel. But in terms of same man for man, Gabriel. man for man, it's a new season. Man for man, Sancho is clear. Everybody knows the talent of Jadon Sancho. Everybody knows. And Saka, listen, star boy, this and that, I give him his credit, but I'm taking Sancho, and I think most people will agree on it. Sancho for me is clear. Again, of, of, of Saka. name of a profile. You do it all the no, time. But you, you, you look at even his qualities, though. Is it? You know, if you look at his attributes, Sancho is clear. Everything. If you look at his technical qualities, clear of Saka. And what makes him Saka's clear? Saka's a space merchant. What makes him clear? Hey? What makes him clear? It's technically wise. Yeah, but what, how, what makes terms, him technically good? No, technically Explain good that in terms of dribbling, dribbling, better dribbler. Is he? Easily better dribbler. Like, come on, dribbles? man. Come on, man. Listen, let's, let's not mess up. Skill, still skip. Skills Who's it better? Like, he's got five-star skills, he's better than Saka now. Too much but FIFA. You just asked me the attributes, <laughs> Too and much I just FIFA named you right now. Get off the FIFA. Skill set. No, I'm not playing FIFA. You What's, play FIFA. I don't play FIFA. I actually don't I'd play FIFA. I'd smoke you for FIFA, though. I don't care. How many... Name me the players that get in our team. The Gale. Varane. <laughs> okay, that's it. I don't need to hear anymore. The, the Gea gets in our team. The Gea gets in your team. Does he? The Gea. He doesn't get in Varane. Spain's team. Oh, he, he doesn't Varane. get in Brentford's team. Forget Listen, Arsenal's. Are you going to hear me out? The Gea, Varane, Sancho. Left back as well, Malassia. Who have you got left back? Sinchenko. Sinchenko, Tierney. 
Listen, I think for me, you've, you've not pervaded an argument in your midfield. You said Odegaard. Odegaard. Our midfield is Odegaard, Xhaka, Partey. Who do you think gets in the main United team? Mm, Ramsdale, comfortably, because my keeper players at the back. I'm, yeah. I'm a person that is in a modern era of football. Modern not, in the, hype. not in 2013, when modern United are still winning trophies. Modern era, Ramsdale gets in the team. Right back, Tom Yasu gets in the team. Tom Yasu, that never left plays. Back, left back. How could he put no hold on? But this is not about who's how, fit and who's not no, available. It's, it's not, about it's not about the man with the hardly even touch so the even ball. Even Ben White gets over Wan Bissaka. Or Dalo. Who's Dalo? Dalo. Dalo is a right Dalo, back. Ben White, you can't, you can't make back. positions. You can't make positions. Dalo is even a right Cedric back. Even Cedric is better than Dalo. Oh my God. Left back, we've got two better left backs. Tierney Zinchenko. I don't think you can argue against that. Centre backs. Casemiro in the midfield. Well, no, well, let's go centre backs. Why okay, are you moving it forwards? Are you a bit scared about centre backs? No, listen, I've, a bit of insecurity. I've, I've, I've already said it. Centre backs. I think which Arsenal centre backs get in your team? Saliba. Saliba, I'll give you that. Comfortably. Saliba. You can't put Gabriel. Gabriel listen, come on, ben man. Ben White. Ben White, come I on. I think they both get in. No. Lissandro Martinez. I think Varane would be lucky to make the bench. Because uh, if you're talking about Tommy Asa's fitness, then same about Varane. Lissandro Martinez. He's Saliba. not a centre back. I'll give you that one. He's the midfield options. Who's getting the midfield options? Casemiro's getting in there. You've got bloody um, oh. Ericsson's in there. Ericsson, Ericsson's you would die in there. For Ericsson. Ericsson in there. Ericsson, you would die for Ericsson. You can't tell me Ericsson wouldn't get into the Listen, Arsenal. Listen, I watched them against Brentford and I was so jealous. Yeah, one game hype. So, so jealous. I was hype. like, why is he not playing for Arsenal? One game hype. Is that all you do? One game hype. Gabriel Jesus will score more goals for Arsenal than all of United's forwards this season. <laughs> Three, two, one. You know what? I'll give him some respect. All of your strikers are one player. You deepen how bad that is for your attack. I disagree. And this is a fourth place attack, he said as well. I disagree, man. I prefer not to speak. Gabriel, Gabriel, how, how, what's, the, um, <laughs> what's the highest goal tally of Gabriel Jesus? I think 14. 14. And you put disagree. 14. You don't even believe in your attack like that. I thought Sancho was the next big thing. No, I, I, I don't, be, no, I, I don't believe. I don't, no, the, the question was, Gabriel Jesus will score more goals than, than all of Then your entire attack. attack. I know, because he won't. Because he won't. Cristiano Ronaldo's still there. We got Martial still there. We, we could possibly buy no striker. Martial still there. Yeah, Martial still there. Martial still proven. Oh, wow. End of the day, right? The Timbers, Martial. What, Ma he Jesus, this 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 so-called world-class striker, Jesus. has Jesus. only scored 14 goals. You still have to deep that. There's no confidence oh, within you that he will score 25 goals. He clearly is, my friend. Strongly agree. Well, <laughs> on, on, on basis of what? What? Pep needs to bench him. Pep never rated him. On the basis so of all of a sudden, make Arte's going to make him better. Arsenal make more chances, oh. he'll start more Odegaard. games, oh, the wizard and Arsenal Odegaard. are a better the wizard, team. The wizard Odegaard is going to order Odegaard, you got Saka, you got Martinelli, you got Fabio Vieira, Smith Rowe, shall they many more? Listen, Cristiano Ronaldo still got 18 goals for Man United last season. Is it? Martial. Where did I get you? Again, Martial. Where did I get you? got a new manager Where did I get you? Last season, a lot of injuries. Where did I get you? It don't Answer matter. my question. Where did I get you? Where did I get you? It don't matter. I'm not talking about Arsenal's goals last season. No, it don't matter. But again, your point is relevant though. No, answer the question. talking about goals. The question is about goals. The question where did he is about season? goals. The question is about goals. goals and Ronaldo got 18 goals. Yeah, where did I get and the question was, where did Jesus get will get more goals than all of our strikers. And that's I agree. Great. I agree. Again, Ronaldo got 18 goals last season. Yeah. We've got a new manager for, yeah. for Martial. We've got... We got will Ronaldo even be there? We've got Casemiro now. We've got, we've got more solid bases now to score more goals. <laughs> no, but you've got to realise though, we've got a more of a solid bases now to score more goals. Oh, Tactically, Man United will be a shoot more better than United to score more goals. Right now, you can't tell me Jesus, you have more confidence in Jesus scored 14 goals, the highest for Man City to replicate them goals for Arsenal. You can't, you can't say it. I've got facts to back that. Jesus, that you know what Jesus That 14 was a goal season, City. he started you know 20, 21 league games. At Arsenal, he'll start 35. More chances, more starts, more goals. And, 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 and hence why Odegaard will score, will, will assist, will be the, the wizard. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, we got, it's not just Odegaard. You got more players. We got a better so you, don't, you don't believe in He's Ronaldo? A you don't believe system. in Ronaldo? A world class Ronaldo? He, he won't even be there. How do you? He don't want to be there. On what basis? He don't want to be there. Where, where have you heard that he from? He said going to benches anyway. Where have you heard that from the gossip started? column? Is have you started? heard that from the gossip column? Nah, it's reports. Fabrizio Romano. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Just because you know you did a video with Chris Romano, now all of a sudden you're best friend. It's big time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? For me, like I said, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah? A bench warm up all of a sudden for Man City comes to Arsenal. It creates this big atmosphere and whatnot, and then all of a sudden, bang, he outscores Ronaldo, who scored 18 goals last season. By the way, never scored more than, how many say, 14 goals? You've got, still got uh, Martial in there. I'm sorry, man. I'm going to have to firmly disagree, man. Manchester United should now be considered the biggest banter club in the Premier League. <laughs> Three, two, one.
even he hesitated. You see that? <laughs> Listen, man. Your club is getting violated by the producers. Listen, and you're Listen it. man, I might have to have words with you, you know. This wasn't part of the script. This wasn't part of the script. <laughs> Listen, Talk to you know, me, my you know, friend. You know what it is here? Yeah? This, 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 this is me. This is where. The no, no, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Two games. This is where. Holding for me. four to Brentford at again, home against again. Brighton. Nothing's won a loss in two games. Yes or no? Walking over. It's, it's, walking over. Nothing's won a loss in two Hogan games. Nothing's won a loss in two games. I think for me, like I said to you, we've been in a transition. Any club. We've been in a transition. That has Harry Maguire as a captain. We've been in a transition. But again, it's been dropped. We've been in a transition. Or Harry Beckenbauer, no? We've finally got a manager now. Harry Beckenbauer. Better than my thing is here. We've got Ten Hag as manager now. We've got a new system. We've got a new culture now. We're going to be changing things slowly. But all of a sudden, for, for people, for Arsenal fans to look down on Man United, who are the kings of banter club, by the way, who every single time Man we United look forward, the kings of we look we look forward every single time for the Arsenal meltdown. Every single time, it's always round the corner. With United now, we're going to be entering a new period now with the Ten Hag, and we've got we, we we've got a longevity with this manager. You don't have that longevity without your manager. Why is that not? Because you know around the corner. After spending that 400 million, you know around the call, if he don't meet his objective, he's going to get sacked. Whereas my manager's got time. He's got time to build here. Your manager has got time. He's on. He's running out of time. You, Our you sure? is running out of time. Are you sure he's got time? I know. You, I know. You think Eric Ten Monk's got time? <laughs> listen, more, more than 10 months? Listen, more Eric, than 10 months? respect to my manager. More than 10 months? Respect to Are my manager. Are you willing manager. to put money on the fact that he will stay more than 10 months? Easy. How much? Easy. Listen, whatever you, your price, innit? No, your price. You decide. £100. £100. There you go. I don't back out. I'm backing out. Okay. Arsenal fans are the most deluded in the Premier League. Uh, Three, two, one. You know what, Buzz, man? Like, Actually, you know yeah, I'll, put, I'll put it here because there's a lot of fans. No, 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 no. Stay away. No, <laughs> don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. How about you move over there as well? <laughs> Listen, man. Buzz. Buzz. Please. The amount of stuff that's come out of your fan base is absolutely crazy. You know that already. Explain. Give me because examples. The, the amount of nonsense your fan base come out of, the amount of hype that your fan base come out of, and yet again and again, what happens, man? What happens? The meltdown is always around the corner, Babs. It's always around the corner. And I see you at the end of the season. Oh, next season, next season. Yeah, next Your season. fan base is deluded, man. We're deluded. It's, you know what it is? It's a noisy fan This guy fan base. is Hold calling on. us deluded, and you call you know Maguire better than Van Dyke. Listen, bring the receipts. He's calling us deluded. Bring the receipts. He's calling us deluded. Bring the receipts. He called Harry there's Maguire. No, there's no evidence, people. Harry Beckenbauer. <laughs> no evidence around Harry here, so it never happened. No evidence, so it never happened. Harry Beckenbauer. Oh. We'll day, find man. the evidence. We've got the VAR to prove. End of the day. Like I said to you, your meltdowns are always around the corner. You're well, the like biggest, yours, outside you're, you're the biggest talkers. You're the biggest talkers. Like last year, meltdowns you're like last year, outside Old Trafford, we used 5 nil. And yet you do nothing. Meltdowns are the biggest talkers I've ever heard. You talk about this, you talk about that. You man are just deluded, man. You have got no substance to what you say. You come out with all this crap, and then the end of the day, it's same old, same old. Nothing ever changes at Arsenal. You, my friend, it's always banter here every time. I've just perfectly described my United fans. <laughs> Amazing. Listen, are you I couldn't yourself? describe it any better. Are you hearing yourself? Right. There you rough. go, man. It's been a pleasure, Babs. Pleasure, you know what I mean? See you in person. It's, it's made me think different of you, man. Yeah, I know. You know Likewise. What I mean? You're a good I, guy, I, man. You're a good I, guy. I still think you're delusional. <laughs> <laughs> So Pires or Ronaldo? <laughs> <laughs> God, like, laughing like the Joker here, I tell you. Hey, what were you laughing about? Right, yeah, I don't know if it's that. There's only one answer. You, no, no, seriously, I don't like that. You're disrespecting <laughs> Robert Pires.